Okay, so 7.4, we're talking about uh, derivatives and related rates. That phone is not ringing anymore. That's a good sign. Okay, calculus 30. So here's the question in your textbook. It says this, the angle of elevation of the sun is decreasing at one quarter radians per hour. All right, so you're going to want, of course, when you do these questions, you want to draw a diagram, right? Diagram is pretty important. So here's the sun. Make sure you get the sun in there. And the angle of elevation of the sun. Okay, so what we have to understand is that the angle of elevation is always measured from the horizontal, correct? And so it's going to be this one. Now, if you want to put E here, that's fine. It's going to be angle E. So that's the elevation of the sun. So that angle is decreasing. So let's see. The sun is obviously going down, right? When the sun is here, this is, you know, the angle to the same point is there. And when the sun comes down some more, the angle gets smaller, right? Large, smaller, small. And as we go down and so on. Now, there's more to this question, but just so you understand that if the sun's going down, the angle of elevation is also decreasing. Decreasing. How fast is the shadow cast by a building of height 50 meters? So let's put that in. So there's a sh we're talking about a shadow here, so let's make a building that is 50 meters tall. Five zero. Okay, and the shadow, the shadow is obviously from here to here is the shadow, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be S. So, so if the sun, now if, let's go back to the sun picture, okay, if the sun is higher in the sky, this shadow is obviously pretty small earlier in the day, right? So we've got a larger angle, we've got a shorter shadow. As it comes down, that shadow starts to lengthen. And then as it, you know, settles even more, so sets even more, that angle gets even smaller and the shadow gets even bigger. So the angle of elevation is decreasing, but the shadow is lengthening. Comprende? That's your Spanish lesson, lesson for the day. Comprende? Oops. Okay. <laughs> okay. When the angle of elevation, okay, so here's the thing. With these questions, they're also going to give you a point, okay, this is very important, a point during this whole process where they want you to actually find the second instantaneous rate. I'll say that one more time. They're going to give you some point in this process where they want you to find the second instantaneous rate. And so that is when the angle of elevation of the sun is pi over 4. Now this, you don't, you don't do anything with this until later in the question. Okay? Don't do anything of that until later. But you are going to want to get into a habit of writing down your information. So we did a little sketch here. And so what are we given? Um, the angle of the sun is decreasing. Now decreasing, this is radians per hour. That's a rate. So what I'm given there is actually the rate of change of E. It's decreasing. And so that's a negative value. We're going to, say, we're going to make sure we remember that negative is decreasing, positive is increasing. Now the units, you don't have to worry about the units um, in the, in the um, actual math part, but I'll write the units down there for now. Okay? So that's a given. Everyone good with that? Okay, so there's another rate in here somewhere, right? Uh, oh, oh, how fast is the shadow caught, uh, cast by the building lengthening? Ooh. Okay, so this shadow is actually uh, lengthening over time. So isn't that the rate of change of the length of the shadow. Mm -hmm. There's our second rate. So related rates, two rates. Oh. There goes your book. So now this is unknown, so we'll put a little question mark there. Okay. Now again, this whole uh, point from later, this is when or at, I always put a little at sign, at um, E equals pi over Angle E equals pi over 4. And again, that's, that comes a little bit later. Okay. At E equals pi over 4. So we understand that the angle is decreasing. The, sh the, the shadow is lengthening. And we're going to find out what the instantaneous rate of change is of that shadow when the angle is this. 
Okay. So let's set this up now. So again, we want to find an equation that relates the two. Do you have a question? Do we not have to write down that the height is 50? Uh, well, you can write down the height is 50, yes. Sure. Yeah. But, but it's, not a, it's not a variable we need to introduce. We're only interested in the, the two rates and the point at which we're finding the instantaneous unknown rate here. So yeah, we will be using 50 here in a second. That's, that's what I'm doing now. But you can write it down if you want, building height of 50. I just put it in my diagram so I know it's there. Okay, so uh, it's a building, so this is a right triangle. Okay, buildings are perpendicular to the ground. You can assume that in all these questions. And so E, we have an opposite side and we have an adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent, what trig function is that there? So, Soka toa. T, toa. Soka toa. All right. So, so is, and then ka, and toa. See that? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to be able to write tan of... E equals what? 50 over S. Okay. Okay. That's really good. Now, that is our relationship between E and S, the related rates. You could, like, you could basically, that's all you need to write. You could go and you could now find the derivative of both sides. If it's possible to rearrange the equation so that, you know, differentiation is easier, you can go ahead and do that. So right now, you would be using, you know, sort of the uh, quotient rule and stuff here. Um, if you rewrote it like this, you would be using the product rule over here, right? So whichever one you want to do, if you like product rule better than quotient rule, you know, which some of us do, so you can rewrite it like that. So now we're going to, and this is the important part here. So again, I haven't touched this pi over 4 yet, have I? Not yet. You take the derivative first before you even think about using this pi over 4 for anything. So I'm going to find here the derivative. The derivative um, with respect to time. Okay? The derivative of this equation with respect to time. Oh. So we have a product situation here. So I need to find the product rule. I need to use the product rule. That's the derivative of the first times the second. What's the derivative of s? Not one, it's S prime, right, S prime, okay? Because only time is our preferred variable, not S. Drew the first times the second. Okay, product rule. Plus the first times the derivative of the second. What's the derivative of 10? Secant squared E. Okay, now if I'm taking the derivative of this as well, it's chain rule, isn't it? I have tan as my outside function and I have E as my inside function. So I need to multiply by the derivative of E. And then the derivative of 50 is just 0. Okay, everybody, everybody with me here so far? Okay, any questions? All right, so we have to think about a couple things. Now, this isn't this isn't a you know this isn't a really easy question. So just to pay attention. So do we have s prime? Are we given s prime? No, oh. we need to find s prime. Okay, that's great. Are we given e? Well, yeah, we're given e because e at you know this time. So we're given e. What about s? Oh, we aren't given s. Hmm. E we're given. E prime we're given. So this is what I'm trying to find, really. I'm trying to solve this for the question, but I need S. So you're going to have to go back and you have to say, okay, am, am I sure I'm not given S? No, I'm not given S. Is there a way to find out what S is, again, at the instant that we are concerned about here? Well, yeah, see, we have this triangle, 90 degree triangle, this is 50, and at the instant that we're concerned about, when E is pi over 4, I can find out what S is. You see? So that's how you know. You, you say, okay, well, at E equals pi over 4, I need to also find out what S is at that point. And pi over 4 is 45, so that means that S equals 50. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Both these sides are equal. If you didn't know that, then you could say, okay, well, tan of pi over 4 equals 
50 over s. What's 10 to pi over 4? On your unit circle, sine divided by cos, that's root 2 over 2, divided by root 2 over 2, that's 1, equals 50 over s, s equals 50. Yes? No? Maybe so? I'm seeing some blank stares. So now I have s. Because when e is pi over 4, at that exact instant, which is, this is the exact instant, this is, remember, this is an instant in time that we are now talking about. The specific instant is where e is pi over 4. e is pi over 4. And s is 50. Okay? So when all that lines up, then I'm going to be able to find my s prime. So now I need to just solve for s prime here. So s prime. Um, you can plug values in first if you want to. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, s prime is, so this is a bit of a mess here now. But if you want to isolate uh, s prime first, then it looks somewhat like this. And I'm going to get this over a negative s times secant squared e times e prime all over tan of e, right? Okay, I think that's right. So we fill in all the values that we're given now. So negative 50 here. Secant squared e, okay. Um, don't use your calculator for that. Use your periodic, periodic table. Was this chemistry? Use your um, unit circle, okay? Okay, so secant is what? You don't have a unit circle? Too bad. You're supposed to be drawing your own, okay? So what's, what's secant? That's 1 over what? Cos. That's 1 over cos. So what's cos of pi over 4? You have no idea. You should have an idea. Root 5 over 4. Two. Root 2 over 2. So what's 1 over root 2 over 2? 2 root 2 over root 2. You just flip them. Root 2. And then if you square it, because this is, remember, 1 over cos squared two. equals 4 over 2 or 2. Okay? So secant squared pi over 4 Secant of pi over 4, all squared is 2. Okay? Now, if I'm going too fast or not. Am I going too fast? Yes? Okay, too bad. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, that's good. Struggle. Okay, you can do it. Struggle and survive. Okay. So, what is E prime now? Negative 1 over 4. Well, that was so quick. Slow down. Yeah? All right, and tan of E. So what's tan of pi over 4? 1. Thank you. It's 1. <laughs> you see that? So sine over cos, sine divided by cos. I think we talked about that before. Oh, yeah, we talked about it up here, right here. Okay, all right, you guys doing well here? So S prime is actually what? Oh, let's see. That's uh, over 2. Oh, that's uh, 25. Negative 25 times negative 1 divided by 1 is? Positive 25. Positive 25. So S prime is 25. Now, 25 what? You have to go back and look at your units. But anyways, getting 25 is super important. Okay? So the shadow is lengthening at? Well, meters per, what's the time in the question? Hour. Meters per hour. So, yeah. So, you'd write your final sentence. So, the shadow is lengthening at a rate of 25 meters per hour. Okay? Yeah, in a minute. Yeah. Okay? That's that. That's number eight. 7.4. Questions?